Hey, what's up guys? Foxone here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the oil on a Coleman CT200U-C or anything with this style of engine. Now, right before we get into the video, I want to thank my friend for letting me use his garage to make this video. So, when I say this style of engine, I do not mean the brand Predator. It could be Predator or any other brand. But I mean the horizontal shaft, overhead valve, basic engine. These are super common from mini bikes to snow blowers to wood chippers and wood splitters, cement mixers. They're basically used on everything that needs a little bit of engine power. Now, these engines are pretty reliable, but still do need the general maintenance. And today I'll be showing you how to do the oil. Now, you might think, well, what type of oil and what kind and what temperature? Well, for example, I'm using pins oil. I don't have a lot of options here, so I used pins oil, and I use the synthetic blend, 530. Now, depending on what temperatures you are averaging at, depends on what oil you take. Now, I am adver averaging colder temperatures, so I'll be using 530. There is an actual booklet that came with these engines brand new that tells you in the maintenance what type of oil to use and what temperature. I will put that on the screen now. And if you want a full link to the manual, I will leave one in the description. Now, there is two ways to drain it and one way to fill it. There is a bolt right there and a bolt at the front. And then that's where you would fill it. Now, what I'm going to do is drain it out the back and then going to pour the new oil in, in the front. I always use a catch pan and then dispose of the oil properly. So, I will now drain the oil. Okay, so I loosened it with the wrench. It was a 10 millimeter. And now I'm going to let the oil drain out. As you can see, it's quite viscous. because of how cold it is. And I'm gonna let that drain out. Now, all the old oil has now been drained out, as you can see, and I even tipped the bike up a little bit to get all that oil out. Now what we wanna do is put this back in, screw it hand tight, and then tighten it down one turn or two turns to get it snug. Now do remember, do not over tighten it because it will strip out. Okay, so it's completely empty. I got my funnel in, and I'm ready to pour my oil. I'm doing this one-handed, so. Now, this doesn't take an entire full quart, but close to it. Now, the way my indicator is when oil starts to drip out a little bit, I know it's full. Now, I always put the oil pan underneath as well to catch up any of the dripping oil. So now, I will just pour this in. I'll get back to you guys once I'm done. Okay, so I took the funnel out and I have about this much oil left. And as you can see, it's filled to the brim with fresh new oil and some of it's actually dripping out. Careful not to overfill it too. Now, there's a lot of debate whether you're supposed to fill it up to the H on this, I always just fill it up to the brim because I just feel safer that way. So as you can see, screwing the cap back on, and now this has a fresh new oil change. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. As you can see, it's still snowing outside. Nice view of the mountain over there. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to see a more in-depth maintenance check up on this Coleman, let me know because there is a lot of other things that come into play that need to be maintenance on a good running engine. Till next time, see ya.